November 9, 1989, in Berlin. Thousands of people poured across the open border. East and West Germans celebrated the fall of the Berlin Wall together. It was a time of celebration and euphoria. And the images went around the world. The historic event was captured in countless pictures. Frankfurt photographer Barbara Clem was also there. It's still a powerful memory for her. What happened that night was so important that you just had to go there right away. For a photographer and cameraman, it was the greatest experience you can imagine. Early on the morning of November 10th, the Frankfurter Allgemeine newspaper sent Clem to Berlin. There weren't any cell phones back then, so I didn't even know where to go. There were huge crowds everywhere. Then I went to Brandenburg Gate. People were up on the wall and it was an amazing atmosphere, very emotional. So first I took pictures of the crowds and then I decided to take a look over in the east. So I stood there waiting for my turn at the ladder. There were some border guards in a cordon, but it was all very relaxed, nothing military-like. Some of the young people on top of the wall tried to flirt and chat with them, but the border guards were still a bit shy, of course. Long lines of Trabant cars motoring across the border, another iconic image. Two days after that historic evening on November 11, Karin Blom and Kerstin Reza from Schwerin also drove to the West for the first time. They were photographed at the border on the Autobahn. Newspapers everywhere picked up the photo. Even 25 years later, they still have fond memories of their adventure. We just started out. We didn't even think about running out of gas or where we'd get money. Four young girls, starry-eyed, just thrilled. And we just hopped into the Trabi and drove off. Her East German passport with a handwritten 13-digit number. That was her ticket to travel across Germany, to see new cities and make new acquaintances. For the young women, it was like the world had opened to them. The scent of the West, when you came from East Germany, it was indescribable. Everything just smelled wonderful. But it was Berlin that drew the biggest crowds. People from across Germany and the world flocked there. And of course, they all took pictures. Each photograph has its own story to tell. Some are on display at Berlin's old Checkpoint Charlie Crossing Point. One shows Eckbert Schauer of East Berlin. It was taken by a good friend from West Berlin. Shortly after the wall came down, they went on holiday. This was spring 1990. The weather was nice again. So the two of us, an East German and a West German, leapt at the chance to do a bike tour from the Rhine River to Berlin. Our last stop was the wall, which had divided us before and now had brought us together. The photo was taken in the Kreuzberg district, where the no man's land between the borders was especially wide. But today there's nothing left of the wall there. What remains are the memories of the moment when his life changed from one day to the next. For my generation, it was a very different experience than for our parents. They had a much harder time of it. They were all established, settled, and suddenly everything was different. But for us, it was a dream come true. We just lapped it up. Barbara Clem also found herself drawn back to Berlin again and again. One of the highlights, the opening of the Brandenburg Gate in December 1989. As I was headed back to the west, I turned around and saw that wonderful light, so diffuse, with people still on the wall. And I knew that was the picture I wanted. That was the defining moment of this huge world event. 
Even 25 years later, the images and the memories are as powerful as ever. 